you agree with this 20% uh, VAT on the fees? Yes, I do. And I think it's a good way of financing uh, an increase in spending on uh, prim primary schools and secondary schools in the state sector. I think it's a, it's a good piece of redistribution. Ta good taxation is redistributive. I'm also really pleased uh, that the crazy notion of removing charitable status has been dropped. I think once you start uh, meddling with charitable status of, uh, of schools, you don't know where that ends because, you know, education has been a charitable purpose uh, since the age of the Tudors. And I think changing English law that's lasted that long, charitable laws last that long, would take you a very long time and you're bound to make mistakes about it. But yes, it's fair uh, to find the money for our, our state schools by taxing people who are wealthy enough to spend it. Spend I mean, there, is, there is a philosophical contradiction in what you've just said because if you if you're not prepared to remove the charitable status because you believe they fulfill a, a proper charitable function there shouldn't be value added tax on the fees i mean you can't have you can't argue for one and, and let not him answer the other. that then you, you, you can put VAT on whatever service you want. VAT is well, a tax, for you, charities. The, the tax that you read. You know, ta charity, charities do, do, do pay um, VAT. It's, VAT is a tax to bring a receipt in to pay for the primary schools. The charitable state exists for all kinds of other educational institutions, for universities or for, uh, for nurseries uh, that are paid yeah. for. In this case, we're saying there's a sector which is privileged, the private sector, and there's a sector in which people pay substantial amounts of money, particularly at the highest level of the, of the education system, and that there's and it would be fair to raise a tax on it that can go to relieve uh, the pressure yeah. on... Well, uh, I mean, I, you won't be surprised, John. I completely disagree with you. Um, I think it's, a, it's, it's typical Labour, this. Instead of working to improve the state system, what they wish to do is tax the private sector, so, and which will undoubtedly cause pressure on the private sector, damage some of the best schools that we have in this country in the world, and I, I'm not too worried about the Eatons and the Winchesters and the Rugbys and so on of, of, of the United Kingdom because they have a brand and a capability to go on performing whatever happens. What they will do, though, by the way, John, if they do have to levy these extra fees, is deny places to British-born students who increasingly can't afford it because we're a poorer and poorer country as a result of the kind of redistributive tax system that you like. We get poorer and poorer every year. And they will take in more foreign... <laughs> students. So there'll be less British students going through the best public schools in this country, best private schools in this country, and we'll get more foreign students. But the real impact, the real impact here is going to be in that massive middle ground of private education, which benefits so many people in the United Kingdom, you know, the in, in, you know, br British citizens, and they won't be able to afford it. And the notion that you're going to collect what Keir Starmer thinks he's going to be able to do so by levying this tax will be flawed. As we know from all uh, high, high uh, levels of tax, you collect much less than you forecast you're going to collect. And the, the other notion that the government will be um, morally sort of uh, virtuous and use the money that it's got to go into the state system is completely flawed. What will happen is it'll go into the massive VAT cauldron that, the, that, 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 that exists in the Labour Party and it'll just be used and thing, spent the fun, and wasted. The, fun, the funny thing about this is that um, at his last budget, um, Jeremy Hunt actually put a put a figure on what VAT on private schools would raise. Labour have always had a figure, but Jeremy Hunt put a higher figure on it. So Je Jeremy Hunt's confirmed that Treasury... The, but the Jeremy Hunt is a actually, socialist. Yeah. Jeremy Hunt is a redistribute... Tax yeah, and redistribute... So he's you're, he's you're a through, borrow, tax and spend you're, you're chancellor. Def, you're definitely through the looking glass call Jeremy Hunt a socialist. <laughs> right, he so is. Apparently, <laughs> Labour have said that its policy to end private schools, charitable status and other perks and all the rest of it would, uh, would raise £1.7 billion, mm. Pounds, mm. right? But where are, you're going to take these kids out of these private schools because right, this is I see this as a, a tax on aspiration. It this is. This is not a tax on it's wealth. Not a ta it's not a tax on. Well, let me tell you why I think it is because this is not a tax on wealthy people because if someone's truly wealthy, um, John, twenty uh, percent on school fees, they're neither he nor there. There'll be a blink of the eye. They don't care. So it's not a tax on those guys. Or is, they don't care about it. What you're going to do is you're going to attack the people who have really uh, scrimped and scraped, who've made compromises in their own 
lives, these parents. They're not your wealthy, oh, you know, whatever, you've got 12 houses and this and that. They're your hardworking, uh, middle-income people who've made sacrifices to give their child a better life than the one that they have had. Those children now will more than likely, lots of them, I imagine, will have to now be taken out of those private schools. So you're going to disrupt a child's education. You're going to then put that child into uh, a state school. So you're going to be costing the state more money than you would have been costing them because now you need to provide that school for that thing. And I just... For what? The, the, the rhetoric, particularly from the Tory government, and you've echoed some of it there, the, the, the rhetoric and the notion that every parent who sends their child to a state school lacks aspiration is contemptuous. No, that wasn't... That it's wasn't, it's absolutely that contemptuous. That wasn't said at all. What People, are you talking about? You said you said No, you said... You're you saying it's... You can't, you can't, you, you've ta said. You're, you're claiming this VAT, which is a fair tax a, and, a, and, a, and a very collectible tax, a fair tax uh, on, on, on a purchase, a purchase of an education, that fair tax, you're claiming that's a tax on aspiration. Yes, you're saying that you're, yeah, you're, You are saying, by implication, that anybody whose kid goes to no. a primary no, school no, no, or state no, school no. has... Lacks apparition. Mo that is a apparition. monumental uh, leap. <laughs> that is like a, what you're that both is saying, a very you know, astonishing and, leap. And I'm should, not saying that at all. What I am your saying... Your assumptions should be exposed. I Well, <laughs> well, luckily for me, I have you here to expose my assumptions. My service. My service uh, yeah, I'm sure I am very welcome. That is not what I am you're saying. You're very welcome. I wouldn't suggest for a nanosecond um, that any parent that sends their school uh, child to state school, whether it's by choice or necessity, yeah. lacks ambition for the their child, that would be a horrendous thing to say. It would be inaccurate and it would be damn right offensive and insulting. And That's wrong. not what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. at all. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the people that look at a private Ooh. school and say, you know what, that is the best outcome for my Ooh. child. Because let's face it, when you compare private schools with a lot of state schools, you're going to get a better outcome uh, if you send your kid to this private school. That's not me being unfair. In our incredibly class-ridden and unequal society, people are trying to purchase uh, class advantage. And I understand that's what they're doing, but it's got nothing to do with aspiration and it's right to tax it to John, but invest the pursuit, in the, in the, in the, the pursuit of self-betterment is, is an inherent human instinct. And to dumb that down is replacing aspiration with dependency.